there aren't many uh, high school students that have their own clothing line and you worked with SB Sports to launch Bucket Getters. How did that all come about and what inspired you to create your own brand? Um, so I think in COVID is when we started like getting our idea together. Um, when we had nothing to do in the house but to just sit there um, and, and think about new things. So we kind of came up with Bucket Getter and also like throughout my life, like it was hard for me to find clothes like geared just towards girls basketball and geared just towards me and what I had going for me in my life and other people. So I think um, that was like another thing that sparked me to start Bucket Getters because it was nothing for me to find to wear to play basketball. And I think I had a hard time finding clothes, shoes, and all different types of gear. So I think that really like influenced me. If you're at the store in, in Spooky Nook there in Lancaster or out and about, you see uh, girls uh, wearing your, your clothing, how, how does that make you feel? What's that like? Um, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I'm doing something to really like uplift girls basketball. And I think the more and more I see people, especially like from the grandmoms to the babies, I think it's something for everybody. So it's been good for me to be able to see those different people, um, you know, wearing a brand. So what's next for you? What, what are your future plans with the brand? What would you like to do? Um, short term goals. I mean, we're just um, work fo uh, focusing on spring and summer jobs. Um, and I think long term is like getting people like brand ambassadors and big time people to, to have um, like their selves in the brand, like from the NBA to college level. Uh, who are some of your favorite NBA or WNBA players? Uh, some of my favorite players, I would say Candace Parker, uh, Kalia Copper, Dewana Bonner. I got a few um, WNBA people that I like. Um, NBA, I like the Sixers. Um, I like them as a team, but I do like Jason Tatum, so I kind of, you know, I got a few favorites. <laughs> <laughs> so one of your favorite players is on the Celtics, but you're a Sixers fan? How does yeah. that work out? <laughs> well, I would say, like, in the NBA, like, I'm a Sixers fan because I'm from Philly, but I would say, like, other than the Sixers, I just like different people. So I just watch different teams just to watch a person. I wouldn't necessarily say for the whole team. So if the 76ers play the Celtics in the playoffs, who are you rooting for? Um, neither. <laughs> I just watch. I mean, they play tonight, so, yeah. Um, you're doing great things on the court as well. You're the all-time leading scorer now here at, at Abington. How does that feel? Um, I think it's a good like honor to see like the people that came like before me and their points. Um, and honestly, like back two years ago, I wasn't really paying attention to all time leading scores or what those points even looked like. I think it wasn't until like last year when I really seen that like I was like close. Like not that I didn't know it was a thing, but like I wasn't like coming in like I need to break whoever the leading score is. But I think as my coach told me that I was getting close, I was like, oh, like I'm about to be like you know the all time leading scorer. But I think it's good, and I think. Um, I mean, whoever comes after me, I think it's a good accomplishment to have. Your dad had a, a great college career at Westchester. How much has he helped you to improve your skills? Um, I think he really helped me from the beginning. Um, definitely with my shooting. Um, I do go to other people, you know. Like, well, just a few others to, like, you know, try different things and learn different things. But I think he's played a big part because, as we all know, the best thing I do on the court is shoot the basketball. So I think he's really taught me um, how to shoot it and how to shoot it well because that's something that he was really good at it. And I think um, on a girl's side, like, there's not too many girls who come by that can shoot the ball very efficiently. So I think he's really helped me in that way. Um, your sister's an assistant at UMass Lowell. How big of a factor was that in your decision to commit there to, to play college ball? Um, it was a big decision or a big factor in my in my decision to play there. Um, my sister has actually coached me before on the AAU circuit, but I think, you know, this time obviously it's going to be a lot different, more you know, professional in a different way. Um, but I think she played a big, like a big part. And, and I think having somebody like her up there is good for me. If you played her one on one now, who would win? My sister hasn't played best one in a long time, <laughs> so I would say me. <laughs> uh, you were averaging 16 points as a freshman. When did you first know that you weren't just pretty good, but that you could potentially play the Division One level? Um, I would say, like, in 10th grade, like after my first year on Rise, that I realized that I could play in college. Um, I really wasn't paying attention to like how much I was averaging. Like I was see, I always had my points, you know, every game and like what I had, but I didn't really see to the end of the season, like my average per se. So, I mean, 16 was a lot like as a freshman and like when you look at other freshmen and what they were averaging and then even different people on my team. So I think when I started to compare myself to other or to other people's numbers, it kind of sinked in for me. All right, ready to have some fun? Yeah, sure. Who's the funniest player on your team? Um, Who cracks you up? 
I would say Harper. Harper is a junior, and she has a twin, Piper. So I would say um, Harper. They identical twins? N no. Okay. Um, if you need help with homework, who are you going to? Who's the smartest player on your team? <laughs> um, we got we got a few smart people. I would say. We got Carly, we got Mara, I would say one of them too. Okay. Yeah. Did you watch the Grammys? I didn't. I didn't watch the Grammys. Who are your favorite musical artists? My favorite musical artist, I would say, is I like Lil Baby. Um, I like some Meek Mill. He hasn't, you know, dropped recently, but I, I like, I bop old Meek Mill still. <laughs> so I'll say that. Um, but Lil Baby definitely for the like the new people. That's that's my go-to every day. So I'm always looking for recommendations of new <laughs> shows to binge watch, uh -huh. whether it's Netflix or something else. Do you have any good shows? So I'm real. I'm really into Power and like the Fifty Cent shows. So I would say any of those um, shows. He got a couple under his umbrella. And then as far as Netflix, um, I've been watching Jenny and Georgia. That's like a good little show. So I would say that, but that's not really that long. So they ain't going, it's not going to keep you. By next week, you're going to need something else. <laughs> but yeah. Do you have a favorite movie? Could be a um, sports movie or otherwise. Favorite, my favorite sports movie is Coach Carter. Okay. But yeah. if we going to say like outside movies, like if we talking like Disney movies, I'm a Moana fan, a Finding Nemo. Um... Uh, Avatar, like those water uh, movies, those for me. Uh, if you're stuck on an island, what's the one food that you want with you? What's your favorite food? Um, I don't know. It's like very <laughs> weak. Like, like right now, I'm heavy on Chipotle. <laughs> but if I'm stuck on an island, I feel like chicken because I could like make that different ways. Like, you know, like yeah. you don't have to just be fried or just be like baked. Or if you're on an island, I guess you got just have firing and pain, but I mean, it could be cooked different ways, so I would maybe say some chicken. And last thing, who are some of your favorite teachers here at Abington? Um, hmm, Ms. Davoli, Mr. Grasty, um, Ms. B, that's my math teacher. I would say them three. And where can people find you on social media? Social media, you can find me at Cerebro on all platforms from my YouTube to my Instagram um, and to my TikTok. Uh, appreciate your time and best of luck the rest of your season. Thank you.